Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my first Dollar Tree healthy grocery haul. Let's get started. What I did is I set myself on a $10 budget and I went looking to find things that I thought, quote, were healthy at the Dollar Tree. Now many of you may say, well, what's healthy? And I'm actually going to do a video coming up on that. What is healthy eating? Because what's healthy to one person may not be to another. I think many of you may agree with what I'm about to say though. One of the things that I would say would be considered healthy would be minimum ingredients. For example, years ago I met a very lovely lady who was a mom and one of her goals when she went grocery shopping is, um, first of all, she shopped the outside perimeter of the store, but not only that, she tried to buy items that had five ingredients or less. So minimal ingredients was my main thing I was going for. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I got at the Dollar Tree and you can let me know if you've used any of these items. One thing that I got were, and I actually like seaweed, was this roasted seaweed snack. This was a dollar for three of them and all it has in it is seaweed and some sea salt. That's it. It's very good so there's not a bunch of unknown ingredients. I have to be honest with you guys and you know I'm always honest even if, if some of you come down on me which you have the right to do if I post a video is sometimes I'm too scared to read the ingredients list but guess, uh, guess what I'm gonna be starting to read the ingredient list for 2021. Okay so I got that and I'll just set them over here when I'm finished. Another thing that I got is some jasmine rice and guess what? All this has is jasmine rice. It doesn't have a bunch of unknown other ingredients. And so one of the most inexpensive things you can make, and I'll lift this up right now, are beans and rice. I've actually never made beans and rice. If any of you have made beans and rice, because I would say that is probably one of the least expensive things that you could probably make. And I mean, I like beans and rice. I'd love to know any tips and tricks on how you make it especially if you don't have an Instapot. So let me know in the comments below. But these beans are, you know, great northern beans and rice. This, if you doctor it up with all sorts of seasonings, this could make a very frugal meal. So I got that. And also these, that rice just had jasmine rice. The beans doesn't have anything else added to it. Now, I also got raw nuts. These don't have anything else added. If you look at the ingredients, it's just pecans. And then the ingredients for this is walnuts. There isn't salt, oil, anything else added. And for a dollar a piece, this would be a really nice little snack, even if you don't want to eat all of it. You know, you could actually shop at the Dollar Tree, especially if you eat beans and rice and, and uh, some of these other things. You could actually make some really frugal meals. So these packages of nuts for a dollar each, I consider them healthy because they don't have added ingredients. Now this next thing some of you may not find healthy, it doesn't have any added sugar, it's 100% juice, Welch's grapefruit, grape juice. I do think this, and I know you will probably agree with me, I'm not saying juice is a bad thing, I do think it is better though if you can eat some produce so you get the fiber. As a matter of fact, just yesterday I ate this apple that was about this big. And I was so full afterwards. Apple, a good apple, is probably one of my very favorite things. I don't know if any of you like apples, but I love a really tart apple. So anyway, Walter's grapefruit juice, or grape juice, it doesn't have anything else added. I would consider that one of the healthier items. Now another thing that I found healthy, because all it has in it is applesauce, is unsweetened applesauce. It doesn't have cinnamon, sugar, anything. Now you can add cinnamon to it, but it doesn't have anything else added to it. So I felt this was a healthy choice for a dollar. Next, and this surprised me, and this is something for us to think of. I found some freeze-dried apple slices and freeze-dried banana slices. I looked at the ingredients on the list. Bananas, apples, there's nothing else added. No types of sugars or any preservatives. That is it. Now, would it be better to eat a regular banana and probably a regular apple? Probably, but you know what? If you are on a budget, you can't afford a lot of produce and you want to incorporate some of these, I think that that could be done. And as a matter of fact, I may be doing some Dollar Tree meal planning and seeing what kind of meals I can make from things I can get at a dollar and do it at a very minimal cost. We'll see what I can do. Last but not least, and I actually really love these. I know you either like them or not, but I like them with peanut butter on it or yogurt. These are what I call brown rice cakes with super seeds. 
and it has whole grain brown rice, black imperial rice, uh, buckwheat, hemp seeds, um, quinoa, chia seeds, I can't pronounce it, M-I-L-L-E-T, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, flax seeds, and a little sea salt. I don't think you can get healthier than that. This, I would think, would be very healthy with you and has lots of good things in it. So I would consider this healthy. I think, personally, if you look at minimal ingredients, I did really well. Now, some of you low-carbers out there are going to say, oh, I wouldn't want this stuff because it's not low-carb. Totally understand. But I was looking for items with minimal ingredients. If any of you shop at the Dollar Tree and you look for healthy food items, I'd like to know from you what are some of the items you get. And also let me know if you'd want to know any Dollar Tree meal plans that I may come up with of things that I incorporate that I just get at the Dollar Tree. That's all for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And like I always say, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.